and welcome back to Final Fantasy 14 guys all right guys I have another macro for you and um kind of wanted to go over this for some time now but uh, I don't know I'm kind of putting it off for some reason <laughs> the uh, macro I wanted to go over today is uh, a HUD command and the HUD commands are real real powerful macro and what it does is it actually turns off elements of your UI or heads up display which is HUD for short now I wanted to do something with the UI and I got this macro offline from um, a Reddit I saw somebody did something similar to this and I thought it would be perfect for my use with making videos because I want to turn a lot of this off because I don't want a lot of stuff um, distracting the viewer from the actual content of the video okay so I wanted to turn that off so I thought about it it's like well you know we could actually take that and let's go ahead and use it for what the purpose was for was to make a UI for rating so I started thinking about well what if I what would I want in a UI for rating well I want to be able to watch cooldowns I want to be able to just focus on the boss or mobs or whatever it's in the raid I want to keep my focus on my target so I started thinking about what I would need and then I started thinking well I see a lot of players have what they would consider a cooldown hotbar where we just basically have a separate hotbar with just a bunch of cooldowns on there usually they're laid or over the top of the boss underneath the ball or just underneath the boss or just above the boss or you know just so where it's still in sight and they don't have to dis get distracted with other elements on the screen so I want to do something similar to that um, kind of just to play around with the the command just a little bit because um, what I've got here is just it's just basic <laughs> See, I mean, if I go over here and I execute, it just turns the HUDs off. I mean, my um, display's off. And if I turn it back on, it just turns it back on. Now, again, the HUD, HUD uh, command is a very powerful command. And like you saw right there, if you don't have anything for a sub command, it uses it as a toggle. It's kind of like a light switch. Turns it on, turns it off, turns it on, turns it off. Okay, so now we got that basic idea of what the HUD command does. But what we can do with it so we can do that with we can turn hot bar off target bar off focus bar party list enemy list I mean you have a whole list of items we can turn on and off <laughs> and here is the sub commands it's just two sub commands on or off so it's not that not that complicated of um, to get used to now again like I said before I wanted to do something to where I would use this in a uh, rating scene or something like that. So I wanted to do something a little more extravagant. I wanted to have a cool down hot bar up here, and I'm using two hot bars that I'm not using anywhere else in my rotate or in my macros. I'm using hot bar four and hot bar ten. Now, right now, I'm only using cross hot bars for my for my um, character because I'm using controller, but because I still still am on PC and just use the control, I still have access to those other hot bars. So uh, let's take a look at what I come up with here. This is the macro I came up with, and if I execute that, and if you see, it turns everything off, and it turns this on. Now, <clears throat> if you noticed, let's go back in the macro here. Now, if you notice, I don't have anything, I don't have any sub commands back here. And that's the reason why, because if I want to hit it again, I want to be able to reverse everything. Again, like I said, it's like a light switch. What's on is turned off, and what's off is turned on. So there's no, no stipulation of how that works. Um, if you wanted to do that, the way I did it was I went into, um, I made sure these hot bars were turned off on the display by going into character configuration go under 
hot bar settings and the first one right here is hot bars and I just made sure that they were turned off into my display and that's it and that way when I activate the command to turn on the, the hot bars they actually turn on as the UI the rest of the UI turns off all right so now let's take a look at that hot bar one more time I actually got it I actually did not drag and drop it to the hop or I mean the cross hop bar like I was supposed to so let's drag that to the hop let's drag this so we can activate it a little bit easier without going through all the menus again all right so now we got access to this and that's pretty cool I mean it has all the cooldowns up here we need we have our uh, sustaining rotation up here we have our living dead and we have the potions and we have cooldowns that we would find important to make sure that they're either on cooldown all the time or they're accessible like uh, reprisal you want to make sure you can pop that every time you crit I mean every time you proc it uh, blood price you want to make sure that is always on cooldown low blow you want to make sure your stun is always accessible when you need it and again your oh crap buttons for living dead and mega potions for the uh, again oh crap <laughs> situations now I actually have living dead keybind here on my keyboard for alt D so it is actually not even on my key uh, not even on my um, cross hotbar I have where I can get access to it with just a keystroke on my keyboard and I probably need to do that with the hot uh, the potions too but uh, <laughs> I just don't have it done right now now if you notice up here I only have siphon strike and soul eater and what I wanted to do is I wanted to swap these out depending on what rotation I was doing so if I was doing a hate rotation I wanted to swap these out with the corresponding skills for the rotation so I'll do hard slash and here I got another macro I got it labeled hate and what it does is this is gonna activate hard slash but it's gonna swap these skills out with spinning slash and power slash just like that so when it when not <laughs> when I activate hard slash you'll see the cooldown for spinning slash spinning slash come up and then when I activate it you'll see the cooldown come down for hard slash uh, power slash come up so that's pretty cool and then when I swap because I actually have this on a hot bar swap if you notice right here I'm swapping to hot bar 2 and then I can do my damage rotation again my two heads up displays will swap out I don't have to watch anything down here I can see it all right here all right in front of me where the boss is yet the boss is at then I can swap back and then swap back so this actually could be done with any class um, especially if you have more than one rotation you can have this up here like that to where um, your cooldowns is uh, being displayed up here in front uh, would I do something like this eh, maybe it depends on how useful it is I might do something like this but I'm not in a raiding scene so right now it just does not uh, interest me so uh, yeah, that's about it <laughs> now if we wanted to look a little bit closer at these hotbar swaps here or these uh, button swaps I call them we can go back into our user macros and see what they look like again these are just the hotbar or the cross hotbar swaps I'm using it's just a simple change to one change to two and then back again and again we have a hard slash going and then we have where it will set the uh, spinning slash icon or spinning slash it's actually the skill up there just I blew up the um, the UI to where it's real big I think this is like 140 <laughs> percent but uh, yeah it'll swap the swap um, on hotbar 4 it'll swap out button number 4 with spinny slash this uh, skill uh, sorry this macro will swap out spinny slash with on hotbar 4 on button number 9 and again I have the Siding damage one for siphon strike is swapped out for button four and soul leader swapped out for button nine so 
That's all it is. It's just a simple little one macro, two hop bar swap. I mean, two two key swaps or button swaps, whatever you want to call them. <clears throat> now to get this, <laughs> it took a little bit of a uh, little bit of um, in depth investigation because I have never tried to do this before. I've seen it done before, so I knew it could be done. I had to go into the layout and don't ask me how to do this on the keyboard and mouse the only way i knew i could change the ui the change the element size is right here i can hit the right um analog stick button and it will change the ui i couldn't i couldn't believe it i was like that's it that that was it so yeah i can just that's it All right, guys, so that is about all I have for this. Um, I just really wanted to go over and kind of give you guys some ideas of what we can do with these macros. Um, again, we can customize these all kinds of ways. Um, we can have cooldowns up here. We can have uh, button swaps. We can have um, skill swap or uh, hot bar swaps. But um, I just wanted to give you guys some food for thought as to what we can do and kind of see what maybe you guys can come up with. Do you have any ideas of what you want to throw up here? Again, we can change this out to warrior if we wanted to or to uh, monk if we wanted to or I mean you can do it with any anything that has a lot of cooldowns you have to manage and have to watch. So this might be a good little option here. As for me, I'm going back to my standard. <laughs> I'm going back to my standard macro. Uh, again, like I said, I'm not a ma I'm not a raider, so <laughs> I will leave that to you guys. <laughs> and again, um, you guys have a nice day. Take care, and I will see you guys next time.